I really like Squarespace's list sections, but what I would like would be more granular control over the styling. And a lot of the time we do need to use either CSS or HTML or whatever it may be to, to get it exactly how we want. And one of those small annoyances is rounding the corners of a list item image. So not like the whole card, not the whole section, just, just the image because we can have square images, obviously, and we can have circular images as well, so we can crop it into a perfect circle. So why can't we do a border radius? It doesn't make sense to me. Luckily, it's a really, really simple CSS fix. So I'm gonna show you in this video how to do that right now. So let's say we've got our list section here and we wanna round these corners. What we would do, and just for those who don't know what a list section is yet, if we go down and we go into edit content, you can see that this section looks different to a standard section where you can actually select all the elements within that section. I think that's the most times I've said section in a five second period in my life. Anyway, pages, and then we go into website tools, custom CSS, and if we look down here, and I've had a few people comment recently, oh, um, you know, this should be native on Squarespace. Yeah, it should, but for now it's not. So CSS, and we're gonna paste list item and then image border radius 10px. And if you change this uh, number, you can see that these change as well. So if you want a bit more, you can have 30. If you want a bit less, you can have you know five or whatever. You can do it in one increment. So, you know, up like that. I always think 10. Um, 10 to 20 looks best. Anything over that um, or, well, under that, and you can't notice too much over that, and it, it looks a bit weird. So pick whatever you want, hit save, Bob's your uncle. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.